All right, so in this video, we're going to be talking about arc length. So what is arc length for those of you that aren't familiar? Well, arc length, okay, is the total length of this curve. So if we were to pull it flat, right, if we were to stretch it out and pull it flat, then the arc length is the total distance of that line, okay? Now, how do we find this? Well, we can start off by just picking random points, okay, and connecting them with line segments. Now, you can see that this segment right here is a lot different than the actual curve, okay? So, what you would need to do is make these segments infinitesimally small so they can fit the curve, right? So, if you make all these line segments infinitesimally small, okay, and you add all of those lengths up, you get your total arc length, okay? So, you end up with a pretty familiar limit formula. The limit as n approaches infinity, the sum from i equals 1 to n of d. And I wrote d as the distance between two points, all right? Now, the textbook is going to give you probably a, you know, large formula. But really, I mean, just understand that d is the distance between two points, okay? It's whatever that infinitely, infinitesimally small length is, okay? That's d, all right? And, of course, well, how could we even use this? Well, if we integrate, right, we integrate which basically means we're doing the same thing, okay, then we can actually work with this, right? We can actually start finding the arc length, okay? And we have a formula for that. So here's our formula for arc length. Now we have L equals the integral from A to B, the square root of one plus dy dx squared dx, okay? So you see here that whatever function we're trying to find the arc length of, we take the derivative of it, we square it, and we add one to it, put it under a square root and integrate. So we have our problem up on the board here. What is the arc length of the curve y equals x to the 3 halves between the points 1, 1 and 4, 8? So we have our formula up on the board here. And of course, you can also write dy dx as f prime x. So I figured I'd throw a different notation in there so you can get comfortable with that as well. So the first thing I would do, okay, just a little suggestion, is write what your f prime of x squared is outside of the problem somewhere over here, okay, or like something like that. Because you don't want to have to like write out the arc length formula again to try to, you know, figure out what the derivative is and then write it out again to figure out what it is squared. You know, I would just do it on the side here, jot it down, you know. So what's f prime of x? What's the derivative? Well, the derivative, right, that's just 3 halves or 3x over 2, but this x is to the 1 half. All right. And what would it be squared? Well, if we square this, we get 9x over 4, okay? Because when we square this x to the 1 half, we get x, all right? So great, we figured that out. Now we have to plug that in. The arc length is the integral from, well, what's our bounds? Well, since we're integrating with respect to x, we need to find those x endpoints, right? And that's 1 and 4. So... 1 and 4, and then we have the square root of 1 plus 9x over 4 dx. And this is a pretty doable integral, okay? We just take a u substitution here. So our u is 1 plus 9 over 4x, right? And our du is just 9 fourths dx. Since we don't have a 9 fourths anywhere out here, we have to divide that over. So we get 4 ninths du equals dx. So we'll substitute in this. We'll substitute in this. All right. And we also need to change our bounds, right? So when x equals 1, what does u equal? Well, we plug in a 1 here. 1 plus 9 over 4, right, is going to be 13 over 4. So u is going to equal 13 over 4. And when x equals 4, what will u equal? We plug in that 4, that's going to cancel out with the 4 on the bottom. You get 1 plus 9, and we know that's 10. Okay, so our bounds are from 13 over 4 to 10. So we end up with the integral from 13 over 4 to 10 of rad u 
times 4 ninths du. Okay, so integrating here, we're going to get the arc length is equal to 4 ninths times, well, this is going to be 2 thirds u to the 3 halves, evaluated from 13 over 4 to 10. So we can evaluate now, we get the arc length is equal to 8 over 27, and we have that u to the 3 halves to take care of, so that's going to be 10 rad 10 minus 13 over 4 rad 13 over 4. Alright, whenever you have something into the 3 halves, right, it's just that number rad that number, okay? So if that's, you know, if you're wondering how I did this so fast, that's what it is. All right, so that is your answer for this problem, okay? Now, these problems can get a little bit trickier, okay? Uh, you could have to use some of the techniques of integration that we learned in Calculus 2, but, you know, it's nothing that you can't do, all right? So that's going to do it for this example. Now, the last thing I wanted to mention here is that you can also do the arc length formula with respect to y as well. Okay, so if you got like a curve that was x equals 3y instead, okay, you can still take the derivative here, dx dy equals 3, you square it to get 9, you can plug in 9 there, right? So that's something you can still do, all right? And uh, that's going to do it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for more applications of integration in the next video in the series. See you soon.